And it does work this time. But we're back here because this stupid thing crashed. Also, it's not working because I need to change the thing. Hold on. There we go. The uh, the game will actually run in the emulator with a, a DualShock controller unless you turn DualShock off because the game does not function with it, which is always good. So we have to continue from where I saved it, which is at the beginning of that bridge, if I'm not mistaken. Which isn't too far back, but uh, it's back. Which makes me sad. Plus we lose... Uh, well, I, should, oh, I shouldn't say lose, but the, uh, the stuff from, like, the all material leveling up and all that. We'll get that back shortly enough, anyway. Hit the circle button faster, man. Hit the circle button faster. Hey, I actually landed on the far left one this time. At least that's something. At least, at least we get we get a consolation prize for the troubles that we've been through. A wizard staff, which is for someone not in the party, but still, it's a staff of wizardry. It's also really good. Then we get the machine gun again. Then we walk back over here, and then and then we walk down here, and then we get caught on a thing that's falling off. Except. The, the push circle to jump thing never actually jumps, but whatever. Maybe we can get the one on the right now. I don't think I actually went far enough over. Nope. It's very picky. It has a very small area where you can get on the left or right, but then, like, the center is this just massive, unmissable thing. Because logic. You can only land on three of them, which is a bit weird. You'd think you'd be able to land on all of them, but whatever. Hello, treasure. Goodbye, treasure. At least we can get at least we could grab that stuff this time, theoretically, maybe, possibly, I'm not entirely sure. And we can continue murdering birds for some reason. Don't know why. Don't care why, quite frankly. I should put bi all on bio, that's probably more effective. Watch the internet drop out again. That'd be a sad day indeed. If it drops out again, <laughs> just gonna have to like end the stream or something and continue this on my own, or not continue it on my own. It depends. Uh, just punch it in the face. This is gonna be a bit. He's, yeah, he's gonna die before I actually get it off. I was about to say this is gonna be a bit overkill, but it still counts as a use, so she can get more of her limit breaks. There's one of the alls. Hooray! Now I need fire to level up, and then for candy to pop out of my ears. Push circle to jump. I pushed I pushed circle to jump, and it didn't do anything. I don't understand how the push circle to jump thing works. Push? Push circle? No. Seriously though, I, I pushed circle and then it didn't jump, and I'm not entirely sure what's wrong with that, but whatever. At least it doesn't crash when I push circle. That's a good start. And we got a star pendant. I think we already had a star pendant from earlier, but we got another star pendant. Grab the thing. Now you can run over. Here we go. I'm not going to go down again because there's no reason to. We've already seen that. Hello, Thomas. So we'll just continue over here, and we're already basically at where we were before. Hello, Aerith. How are you? Or Foxer, I should say. Back from my sleep. Back from my garbage internet breaking. Uh, bolts everything. Limit break one thing because she only hits one thing, sadly. I wish we had uh, more hit everyone limit breaks, but I don't think we get those until maybe level 3. Akasha never gets them. She just hits one person many, many times. Unless that one person dies. That is one thing she'll do. At least they put that in instead of wasting the limit break when dude dies. That was a really weird sound. Tetris is invading. What just got wrong? Either way, now I can't remember how much freaking crap I recorded. I don't think it was very much. I think it was only like 30 minutes, maybe. And then it and then it done gone crashed. Is what happened. Oh well. 
We will survive. We should, we will persevere because we didn't actually lose much anything. Because I say like a smart person. At least it wasn't like one of those two-hour-long freaking cutscenes that got lost. That would have been horrible. Maybe if I turn this, something should happen. Yes, please. For those of you on the live stream, I don't actually remember or know when explicitly it dropped off the live stream, but you know, whatever. This is basically where I noticed it, anyways, just out of here. It goes right there, in fact. Get off the thing. Can't, can't men waver. Oh right, now we need to go down and then around and stuff. Hello, enemies of doom. Just, just die. Please, they're all get. Watch them all get a turn. No, thankfully. I had that happen before, where I do it at like the very start of a fight, and then they still all get a turn. Take me hours to realize I lost my audience. No, it took me about a minute to realize it, and that was about how long it took for my internet to drop out. So there you go. Deal with it, yo. I do actually pay attention, despite how much people say I don't actually pay attention. I pay more attention to the chat than to the game, which is probably why I miss... There's fire level 2. Probably why I miss so many things. And then people feel the need to tell me it's painful to watch it, because I miss so many things. Will you just stop watching them? Where am I going? Why am I making funny, weird chirping sounds while I awkwardly climb the side of this mountain. Oh, I forgot this was here. That's why I... Oh, cute. <laughs> what a rock? What? Woman! Take the treasure or leave it where it is! Hmm. 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 I can't remember what happens when you leave it where it is. I'm pretty sure you get something uh, better for actually leaving it there. But for the life of me, I can't quite remember. Hmm. The game does this a lot, by the way. Remember the beginning where if you leave his like two gill there, he gives you an ether or super ether or something like that. Ether, whatever. Hmm. Also, the animation in this room is like three frames. It's great. I'll just sit here and listen to them chirp for a while while I decide if I want to take it or leave it. Hmm. We'll take it. Times are tough. I'm taking the treasure. Your hair looks like a chocobo. What? Come to mommy. What? Murder their faces and their families and everything. That looks nothing like uh, what was actually in there, but whatever. It should die quickly enough. Especially with fire, too. Yeah. It's gonna die, like, right now. So, hooray! Touch more on the forums. Give me your treasure, foul beast. Not the soft, the actual treasure. Ten Phoenix Downs. Eh. Wasn't really worth it. I thought there was materia in there. Turns out there's not. Now we know. Good god, man, that was quite the leap. Especially for someone who has two women in his back pocket. And a random encounter around the corner. Oh well. Hello, foul creatures. These things are actually uh, not... I think they take half damage from fire. The mushroom things, anyway. Is what I've noticed. They seem to take half damage from fire. Could just be me, I'm not really sure. Or it could just be because we're using all material, which splits the damage between a bajillion people. And that's way more than four lasers. Please stop firing them. Oh yeah, we leveled up our all. Forget about that. And those are immune to bolt. I forgot about that. Where is Singapore? Why do you need to know where Singapore is? That's kind of random. We should heal everybody while I'm here. While we be here, 
I suppose healing wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, magic. Karsha. I love how I give Akasha the freaking Kuru, and she's the one with, I'm pretty sure, the lowest level of magic in that group. Righty ho, I wish we could just jump down there, but alas. We can jump off a mountaintop onto a railroad, but not from a railroad to a railroad slightly lower. Hmm. Silly, silly game. Uh, don't use bolts, because they're immune to it. They're not immune to being stabbed in the face, or fire. Or bolts, or sorry, not bolt, ice. I just said they're immune to bolt, and then I say they're not immune to bolt. It's a good job. High five me. Uh... Okay. I forgot he had claws! I was like, how are you clawing me without claws? You just have stompy feet. But whatever. Oh, he's immune to fire. That's good to know. So he's immune to fire, and the crap he comes with is immune to bolt, which kind of nullifies the point of having all materia, but whatever. And restore leveled up. Hooray! Now we have Cure 2. So we can cure two people. No, it just more cure than the other one. Which, to be quite frank, we don't really need, because Cure 1 is more than enough curing power for quite a while. I think Cure 2 is, uh, just, like, twice as much, and we're already healing, like, 800 or something ridiculous. So, yeah. Not like Final Fantasy X, where Cure is garbage and Cura is, like, required for the game, but whatever. In fact, I don't even think I really like using Cure in, uh, as we bolt that. And she's running out of MP. I didn't notice that. I don't even think I really use, use Cure that much in most Final Fantasy games. Because it's usually too weak, I just buy potions and use those, because MP is much more useful than potion, but whatever. Stab one, sure. Assuming it's not dead, no. It turns out they're dead. Stab someone else, then! I don't need MP, but you know, MP's nice. That move is so weird. And we still haven't seen uh, Neuroxen's Limit Break, because it takes him four decades to get it now, because he's level two. As you go up in levels on your limit, your breaks, as they're called technically by the game, uh, it actually takes longer and longer to get them filled up. Which it, And we have Ice too, which at this point means it's really, really hard to get it filled up, but later in the game, when you start taking, you know, 3k a hit, it becomes a bit easier to fill it. Um... Is there anything down here? Is there a reason to go down here? I'm curious. Random counters down here. It's a good start. Oh, and it's these things. I'm just gonna manually attack these, since one of them is weak to whatever the other one isn't, so whatever. And I think we should kill them in two hits. Well, yeah, yes, yeah, so there we go. The Tetrisy Bleeps made it better. Uh, that one. I don't understand why everything in the game seems to have this horrible poison breath attack, where it looks like they literally just barf smog on you. Which probably is what they're actually doing, but still, man, that's nasty. Stop it. Also, it's really hard to punch the thing in the crotch, because its crotch is kind of way back there. Uh, I don't need that. Do I? Oh, okay. I thought uh, Neroxen was already set to attack. I was confused for a moment there. People in your inability to spell. Hey, Akasha's got her third uh, limit break now. Which means, guess what? Three little things that spin around. I don't think there was actually a reason to come down here. Oh well. I need to drink something. Uno momento! Mmm, tea. Anyway, uh, Ice 2, Limit Break. Oh, that's her level 2 Limit Break, that's right. I should get on that. Well, that just, okay. <laughs> Good job, Neroxen. I wasn't kind of expecting that, but okay. Just murder them in one go, that works. I don't, yeah, I don't think there's actually a reason to come down here. So just, oop, oh, hey! 
Aha! I found your secret hiding place. It had a tent. And a power source. Lots of sources and a tent. Hmm. You can't do a thing for me. Get off your butt might help. How am I talking to him again? I'm not even near him. I already had tea over here, I just don't know how long the tea's been sitting there. But my throat's dry, so I need some tea. Uh... Your bulldozer's out of work. Good lord, man. How will you ever survive? Also, it'd be kind of hard to yank my ethernet cable out. It's like, way down there. Go around the corner, man. Jesus, there we go. It's having difficulty with corners for some reason. I'm having difficulty with random encounters for some reason as well. Have an ice too. How about that? And hopefully Kasha gets an actual attack off this time so we can stop using that. Don't seed people, that's rude. I don't think I don't think Yuffie wants your seed. How many ways can that be? Why are you attacking that one? You attack the other bird? No, I'm just gonna kick that one in the face, alright, whatever. So I need to set up uh, Akasha's limit break level before I forget. Because he murders everything. Yep, good job, Neroxen. You apparently just kill everything. This is new. A bolt bloom! Hooray! The router and the, uh, the modem are in a different room. We've got it an ethernet routed through the wall. Uh, what was it doing? Right, limit. You set level two. Yes. Righty-ho! Off we go. To go punch things in the face in a slightly different direction. Hooray! Punch facing. Face punching. Punch facing? That's the wrong direction, doofus. I couldn't tell where I was, man. I was confused. This is a very rackety bridge. I don't trust it in the slightest, or it's birds that are probably attacking me. Or maybe there's m mushrooms on this bridge. No, there's bombs! Uh, not that I really care, but punch it in the face until it explodes, I guess. Or just get a critical. So. Same as every other game, they grow three times and then they explode. Or he'll just do it on the third time. There you go. I'm sure that'll hurt, yeah. <laughs> he blew up a bit early, but whatever. And we got nothing. Nothing, because he exploded. You would think we'd still get the stuff that's on him. Maybe some experience, but nope. Apparently he just... nothing. Nothing happens. He dies, and then we wander off like nothing ever happened. Oh well. It's not his fault he's a premature exploder. Premature Explodorator! Hey, it's this guy again. I'm actually curious how much damage Ice 2 will do to him. Um, Ice 2 him in the face. Fire is not going to help. Bolt's probably not going to help. 449, sounds about right. And then we'll punch him, and then he'll explode, I'm sure. You do quite a lot of damage with your fireball thing there, buddy. Can you not do that? Yep, there he goes. How many explosions can we take? Quite a bit, because he only hits one person. Which we then just heal, and then go to the next one, and then blow him up too! This entire bridge is apparently just going to be me blowing up gr or bombs. Flying bombs, specifically. Should use another high potion. Off we go. On the plus side, we're almost at the end of the bridge. Hello, end of bridge. We are here. No, don't go back out, you dangus. Welcome to North Coral. Or, I guess, just Coral. I'm not exactly sure which. As that guy gets... Hey, don't punch him. You destroy it. Yes, he has a gun on his hand. That's what he does. What did he do? Are we gonna get a backstory? Or just nothing? Nothing. That techno freak? What? How dare he enjoy techno?
Poor Mr. T. Otherwise known as Barrett, otherwise known as Dr. Decapitation or Decapagun. Oi! Stop crying. Maybe you should run around in it until it explodes again, since quite clearly that happened previously. Hello. I do. Apparently I do. Whatever. You there. The next training. Do you have anything I could steal from your training? Train, not training. Herpeder. Does he actually say train or training? Hold on. Next train. Okay. Herpeder. Coral. Coral. What is this place actually? This, I'm pretty sure. Whoa. It's just coral with an E, isn't it? Yeah, it's coral with an E. Which is just lovely jovely. Hello. I want to leave this garbage dump. Dar garbage dump? Garbage derp. Derp derp. English, it fails me. None of you are going to give me anything, and quite frankly, I don't care. Off we go. You look like a shop. What do you have for sale, good sir? It's a kind of crappy shop, so I don't, yeah, I don't expect a lot to be here, but uh, whatever. You're gonna need one of my weapons, you say? Do you have anything good? Uh, he's a force stealer. Which we already have, despite the fact that I don't actually want to have one. Um, and we got plenty of carbon bagels faffing about. What do you want? Uh, bye. Do I want to listen to his story? Not really. Transform, we picked up earlier. We should probably get some of these. Just in the event we get uh, hit by something like that. I guess we'll listen to this guy's story. Take that road on the left to the ropeway station. The ropeway will take you to the gold saucer, which is our destination. Technically, we don't really... The game never really gives you set destinations, it just gives you pretty much a path that you kind of have to follow between places. It never says, hey, go to Golden Saucer, or the Gold Saucer, I can't remember which one it is. That's right! <laughs> okay. This looks like some sort of inn or something going on here. Yeah, that's definitely an inn. 50 gil a night? Yeah, I'll stay. That'll restore my MP, so 50 gil, that's a pretty good price. Given the price of an either is like 750. Righty ho, thank you for your times, good sir. How you managed to run an inn in a place like this, I'm not exactly sure, but whatever. Oh yeah, there's a gold saucer sign right there. Herpader! That's telling you the direction to the gold saucer, by the way. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else here for us. Is there anything this way? Oh, there is something this way. Oops. That leads out here. Where? Pray tell is out here. Do they both lead out here? Hold on. Another one's got. The other one must lead to. What? I'm confused. Get out of my way, man. I got places to be. Thank you. I'm moderately confused. Okay, this takes us here, which is where we're supposed to go. Does that world map take us? Hold on. Where, pray tell, does this world map area lead to? Hmm. Do we have to come back here and come out here? Is that what this is for? Or what? Um... Oh, he's back over there. That leads to the Gold Saucer. We can't actually walk to the Gold Saucer, so actually walking over there has no purpose at the moment. So we'll just head... Get out of my way. Every single time, that guy's in the way, man. So we'll go ahead and take the way we're supposed to go here. Which is this way. Oop, missed the staircase. Hello, sir. That is quite the train. It looks nothing like a train. It looks more like an aircraft, but whatever. His answer to what happened is just sorry. 
My bad. Hmm. Interesting music. Do we get a backstory? We get a backstory. Hooray! Explain the story a bit faster. Mako Rector, you say? Another way of saying, you'll live in dirt poor housing and be stuffed under a freaking metal piece that all the rich people live on. That's how they guarantee your livelihood. Then they drop plates on you and kill millions of people, but details, details. I like how Barrett's like, like eight feet tall. He just towers over everyone else and has to, like, look through his massive chest to actually see people. It's the reactor that we were at earlier, by the way, that the train track actually goes through. Oh look, more places that are burning! This is, seems to be a common thing. Lots of, lots of places burning. Seems to be a, it's like a pastime of Shinra people or something. Also, that's some sweet fire effects, man. Sweet. None of the actual buildings were on fire, just the guy with the camera. It was done by a rebel faction. Who else blows up reactors other than rebel factions? Come on, man. No, don't go on. No! Don't want anything to do with the rest of the game. I'll just stand here and listen to Decapa talk about crap the rest of the time. We was close. And then, and then we wasn't close. He never should have trusted Shinra. The fool! There are no completely silent characters now. Depending on which character you have in your party, they'll actually say specific things about what's going on. Like when we went to uh, 